People look at stories through different lenses. I have my own personal take on some of these trending issues. Hi, I'm Mariah Ramharak and welcome to In Case You Missed It. Hello and welcome to another episode of In Case You Missed It on Sportsmax.tv. Well, the Headley Week Tri Series is in full swing, and so far, the Windies Academy team has been able to notch one win against Team Headley and a draw against Team Weeks. In today's episode, it's my pleasure to be joined by Windies Academy skipper Naim Young. Good afternoon, welcome to In Case You Missed It. Hey, good afternoon. Thanks for having me. All right. Uh, it's a pleasure, of course. Um, firstly, how are you doing? How's everything? Uh, not too bad. Um, very happy. Uh, really, uh, really good to get a few games, first class games, I really bet just last week. And good performances as a team. So I'm personally very happy. Uh, body's feeling a bit tired, but happy mentally. Yeah, and how have you enjoyed the role as captain of the Windies Academy? Because you have... Um, you're wearing some big, big shoes. <laughs> yeah, definitely. There's some huge shoes to fill. Um, this is the second time I've been able to captain the US's Academy. I did it at Super 50 and just did it in the Headley Week style tri series. And really, really enjoyed it uh, as an experience in itself, learning to balance captaincy and personal performance. Uh, really enjoying the role, just looking forward to more opportunities in this role. Yeah, and Naeem, how's your relationship like with head coach Andre Coley? How is it working with him? Yeah, it's amazing to work with uh, coach Coley. Uh, I think we are on similar paths and we see cricket the same way in a sense. And really want lessons cricket to develop in a, in a certain way, uh, the same way that world cricket is developing. Um, so it's really good that our heads are coming together and we have the, the same goals for the academy. Um, and, and hopefully that it pays off, you know, in the long run. First. Yeah, and at the start of the series, what was the strategy heading into the series? And would you say you achieved what you had set out to do? Yes, definitely. Um, I think we had a similar strategy in Super 50. And this is this strategy just to be as comfortable as possible in the environment that we're in. Uh, we have plans, uh, uh, team plans, um, a bit different from 50 over and 40 cricket. But uh, this series, we had fans of just uh, executed batting 90 overs and bowling the team uh, under 90 overs, and that was setting the game perfect for us. And uh, those strategies really worked for us, and they were quite simple. And we just keep reiterating the point that um, it's necessary for us to be as comfortable in the environment as possible so that we get the best of each other. And uh, we really did that, and it's just pleasing to see the results. Yeah, and in coach's assessment of the first match, I was listening to an interview. He spoke about the fight of the academy players. I want you to assess, you know, the group that you are tasked to lead with, you know, the, the group of the bunch of men that you're working with. How has that been for you? Uh, really good. I, uh, it's been going good so far. Um, obviously, you know, players from all over the region. Um, different backgrounds, um, some playing together for the first time and some of us have played together before in um, age group cricket, uh, whether it be regional of 19 and 17 or West Indies and 19. Uh, most of us featured in that as a group and, and some, of, some have done different years from, from others, but the group has come together nicely. Uh, I think we're learning each other. I don't say we're completely there as yet, but we're learning each other. We're learning uh, who does what and who's better when and how to approach each other. and. I think this is this is an amazing step forward for West Indies cricket because if you get the youth together as we are uh, as early as possible to learn each other when we get to the higher level, uh, hopefully that happens. We already have an understanding of what happens within the group and who's like what and, and who's best when. So we get the best of each other and it only takes West Indies cricket forward really. I'm pretty sure it will happen if you all continue playing in the manner in which you are playing and, you know, notching up those performances. I'm going to cue in on Kevlon Anderson. Of course, he picked up a century which helped set you up to win the first match. What's your relationship like with him? You know, how is he as a player? Kevlon's an amazing player and an amazing person. Um, he's one that gives 100% whenever he goes on, on the field. 
And I think he executed his role perfectly. Um, he played himself. Uh, he's a very relaxed batsman. Um, takes a lot of time. Uh, doesn't really rush in cricket. And he did that perfectly. And he just really set the game for us to win. Uh, I was just really, really pleased to see how he batted. Um, I also always speak about in the group that we belong uh, where, where we play. Um, and it's only a matter of time before each one of us does something special in cricket. I remember Joshua James did amazing in um, Super 50 play there and not that many other first class and they say players don't play and then Kevlon did the same thing but it is hand and scored 153 runs and not many first class players do that these days so why is accomplished in that game was absolutely incredible and it was a joy to watch. Yes and I'm going to go back to that interview I mentioned Coach Coley um, on the interview was on Cricket West Indies and he was explaining that the key to winning a series is being able to repeat performances so you picked up a draw in the second match can you just give us, you know, an insight into your thoughts on that second match performance? Yeah, after the first game, we went to the second match with a lot of confidence, knowing that uh, we belong here. Um, but most of us, it was our first class debuts, and a few of us have played first class before, but it was just limited to the motor games. So going into the second game, we have a lot more confidence within ourselves that, you know, we belong at this level, and we can compete at this level. And it was just to continue to do the things that we did in the first game, which was restrict the team on 90 overs and back more than uh, 90 overs. And um, I think that we came close to achieving that in, in the second game. They batted 99 overs and we batted 100, I think 140 something overs. So it's amazing to see that the things we've achieved just by having some self-confidence. And I think going forward, uh, once we continue to believe in ourselves, once we continue to work hard on our skills, uh, we will achieve a lot really as an academy. Yes, and Team Weeks, they're currently batting against Team Headley. You have one win, one draw. So what will, will the result in this match need to be for you to walk away with the Headley Weeks trophy? So Team Weeks needs to win this game um, by a significant amount of points. Um, we, we're currently on 32 points. Uh, um, we got 12 from um, the game against Team Weeks in, in a draw. And we got 20 points from um, Team Headley in that win. So um, Team Weeks are is currently on our 10 points and they need 22 points from this game to, um, well, draw with us and 23 to, to win the um, the Tri Series. So they really need to win this game by, by a certain amount of points, uh, bowling points and um, batting points to catch us three. Yeah, well, let's see what happens. Who walks away with that beautiful trophy? Naim, any personal goals that you have set for yourself this season? Yeah, definitely. Um, I would love to break into a West Indies setup as, as soon as possible, really. I think that's just the, the main goal. Um, a few things coming up this year. Uh, already completed the Tri Series. Um, just that's looking forward to CPL. Um, I think. I've really enjoyed my state in CPL so far over the last three years, so this will be my fourth. I'm just really trying to make a mark in this one, really, um, that I could push my game forward into the well, other leagues or even in the West Indies white ball setup. And I think uh, with a lot of players moving on from West Indies cricket at, at this point, hopefully, you know, my performances could stand out and um, hopefully break into the West Indies squad. Right, well, Naeem, as you know, the CPL lives on Sportsmax, your home of champions. So we will be following you very, very closely, and I'm looking forward to see great things from you. I want to thank you so much for, you know, taking the time, stopping by on in case you missed it. I'm wishing you best of luck, and I'm looking forward to see those numbers from you. <laughs> thank you so very much. It was an absolute pleasure to chat with you. All right, well, folks, so that's a wrap for today's In Case You Missed It. Be sure to like, share and comment and let me know what you think about today's interview with Naeem Young. Goodbye, I'll see you again.